Hi, we're going to go over the ResRequest architecture so you have an understanding of how it works and what will be the best fit for your business. First of all, ResRequest is hosted on the web so it can be accessed online. This means remote staffers, agents and the public may be given access to your stock or your system. But if your res office is set up in a remote location with a poor internet connection, ResRequest can be installed offline on a computer in your office. This computer acts as your offline server and may be accessed by other staffers through your local network. If you would like your lodge to have offline access to ResRequest and would like to use our property management module, we can install ResRequest on a computer at the lodge and we refer to this as a property server. This may also be accessed by other staffers through your local network. So how do we synchronize all these environments? We do this via data transfer. This ensures that any data changes to one environment is shared with all the environments. Data transfers can be automated or activated manually. An internet connection is still needed for periodic data transfers. So how do we avoid overriding existing data? Well, when data is added to an environment, it's allocated a number sequence with a prefix that is specific to the environment in which it is created. Reservations created on the web are preceded with WB. Reservations created on the res office offline are preceded with RS. And reservations created on the property offline are preceded with PA. Then what about overbookings? You may be recording bookings at your res office, but at the same time selling stock online. There is a risk of overbooking here, but we can reduce your data transfer time significantly to minimize the risk. Reservations and property systems can also be set up on the web if you have a strong internet connection. This means no data transfers are necessary as you have a single database on the web. You may wonder why we offer a property offline. Well, there are a few great benefits to having one. It has added functionality allowing you to check guests in and out so you can keep track of the actual check-ins and the anticipated check-in numbers. A property server also connects to interfaces such as point of sale and telephone, so you can post these charges to guests' rooms. Checking guests out highlights if there are any outstanding accounts that need to be settled before departure. Any extras or added itineraries created at the lodge will have separate folios so you can differentiate between financial transactions at the lodge and at the res office. The property offline is an auxiliary system so it is important to note that certain modules can't be accessed, such as rates and user access. If your reservations office is at the lodge and you would like to use our property management module, we can install one offline of ResRequest to accommodate both environments. So that's an overview of your setup options. You may opt to work off the web only, or you may use the web with a single res offline, or multiple offlines if you have several res offices. You may decide you would like a property offline, or multiple property offlines. Or you may opt to have a single offline at the lodge, which is a combination of a res and property offline. I hope this gives you a better understanding of our ResRequest architecture and helps you decide on your structure going forward.